Let's have a look at an example of solving the following separable differential equation. dy dx equals 1 plus x minus y minus xy. And if this is indeed separable, we should be able to write it so that all the y terms are multiplied by dy dx and the x terms are on the right hand side. And in a case like this, it's worth starting by seeing if we can factorise the right hand side. And you'll notice that if we take negative y out as a common factor from the last two terms here, it actually becomes negative y times 1 plus x there. And since we also have a 1 plus x here, this means that we can then take this one step further and factorise the right hand side as 1 plus x multiplied by 1 minus y. From there, we then need to get all y terms with dy dx. So if we divide both sides by 1 minus y, that is going to give us 1 divided by 1 minus y times dy dx equal to 1 plus x. From here, we are then ready to integrate both sides. And effectively, we're actually integrating both sides with respect to x. But what you'll notice is that this part here, dy dx dx, that actually reduces down to be dy. So that on the left hand side, we then have the integral of 1 divided by 1 minus y dy. And on the right hand side, the integral of 1 plus x with respect to x. Solving the left hand side, we need to be a little bit careful. To see how that works, let's do a substitution. I'm going to let u be equal to 1 minus y. In a substitution, differentiating that, we then get du dy equals negative 1, meaning that du is then equal to negative dy. And we then need to replace our full expression with u and du. And so we can see here that this part will become a u, and that will in fact, dy will become negative du. So that when we rewrite the left hand side, it is now of the form integral of 1 divided by u, negative du. And on the right hand side, we still have the same integral as before, which is the integral of 1 plus x dx. That negative can come out the front, giving negative integral of 1 on u du equals integral of 1 plus x dx. Now evaluating both of those, negative ln modulus of u equals x plus x squared on 2 plus c. I'd then bring back u, which was 1 minus y. So the left hand side is the negative ln modulus 1 minus y. And the right hand side is of the form we saw before. And we now need to solve this for y. So start off by multiplying both sides by negative 1 to get ln modulus 1 minus y is equal to negative x minus x squared on 2 minus c. And to get rid of that natural log, on the, right, on the left hand side, we can raise both sides as powers of e, giving e to the natural log of 1 minus y. And that is equal to e to the power of negative x minus x squared divided by 2 minus c. And at this stage, since e and the natural log are inverses of each other, they will cancel, leaving us with the modulus of 1 minus y is equal to e to the minus x minus x squared on 2 minus c. And the next thing is we can also simplify the right hand side to bring this to be e to the minus x minus x squared on 2 multiplied by e to the negative c. But if you have a look at this part here, e to the negative c, that in itself is actually just a constant raised to the power of constant. So that itself can be replaced by another constant a, let's say, so that we get the modulus of 1 minus y equals a e to the negative x minus x squared on 2. And it's a good idea to keep a note of any constants that we define in this way. So it will be worth noting that a here is e to the power of negative c. Now, the modulus can also be dealt with. 
E is always positive, and A, since it was a power of E, is positive, so is the modulus of 1 minus Y. So if we're going to remove this modulus, we also need to replace A with another constant B, let's say, that can take positive or negative values. That is, our constant B is equal to plus or minus A. And finally, rearranging this DE, we find that the general solution is Y equals 1 minus BE to the negative X minus X squared on 2. And that is then our general solution of this DE.